Hello and welcome. I'm back with another interesting topic. We're going to talk about controls, sensitivity, gyroscope, the benefits of using gyroscope and why I did switch to gyroscope. And then in the second half of the video, I'm going to show you actual settings and controls of, of folks you actually know from Arena Breakout, like some of the big, bigger streamers, uh, just to show you the different play styles and settings. The first and foremost, what I want to bring to your attention is that many players, many gamers keep asking for best settings or best controls or just simply please share your settings and sensitivity. And guys, it doesn't make sense. It has to work for you and there is no, there is no something like best settings. It, it doesn't work like that because you need to be the one being fine with your settings, okay, with your controls, it needs to work for you. It, it, it can happen that it works for others, but then you apply basically the same, you copy the same, and it's not going to work for you. So my journey was the following. I started FPS games on, uh, on iPad, and I was obviously starting with two fingers, then I forced myself to do four fingers on iPad, and then later on, I purchased this Red Magic, like two months back or three months back, I've been switching to gyro. But first, it wasn't set to this sensitive. Uh, it was just like, like just slightly moving the screen. And now I'm playing on gyro, full gyro, 200 max sensitivity. And the reason I'm doing that is because I feel like that by having gyroscope enabled, it's almost like having an extra finger. I'm not saying that using gyroscope is a must have, okay? You're going to see in the second half of the video that there are many professional players or high-end players who don't use gyroscope. So it's not that if you are not using gyro, then you're going to fail in the game. It's not like that. Just to mention one guy, like Said. Said doesn't use gyroscope at all. But let me show you something. Let me explain why it makes sense to use gyroscope. Basically, what the gyroscope does is that when you zoom at the enemy, you don't need to use your right thumb to actually aim at the enemy. So this is how you it would look like if you just naturally or in the not naturally in the traditional way like aim with your right thumb, right? But if you have gyroscope enabled, then I don't need to use my thumb to actually aim. You don't see it, but I don't have the thumb on my screen. And then you can use the gyroscope basically to aim at the enemy's head or body or whatever. You don't have to actually touch the screen with your thumb. This is for me, or this was for me, the ultimate goal. Sometimes I'm still suffering because, you know, even though you use gyro, you still need your thumb because you need your thumb to like, um, you know, look around and, uh, and turn around and stuff like that. But when it comes to actual gunfights, I'm starting not to use my thumb. So something like this, I zoom and then, you know, I, I, I just use the gyro to, you know, locate their head. And uh, it can also help a lot with, uh, with recoil. Uh, and in, in for recoil, it's hard to explain, but I think there, it's a combination of gyro and your thumb. So if you are slightly, um, you know, moving your, your phone and at the same time sliding down your thumb, then you can easily control um, weapons like fall and, and stuff like that. In the sensitivity settings, I have now gyroscope set to max. Everything is max. Everything is 200. But I was actually starting with having all of that down to 80. This is also something you can try. It's a different like use case of gyro because in that case, you still need your thumb, but you can slightly like use your phone to slightly adjust and kind of, you know, hit the head. But if you have the sensitivity of your gyro set too low, then you are forced to use your thumb. Maybe it's obvious for many, but nobody actually explained to me in the past or I didn't see any video where it's being properly explained how to use gyro. Because after enabling it, I still wanted to like use my thumb to aim at the enemy, which is wrong. So with my left um, pointer finger, I'm zooming or scoping and peeking. With my right pointer finger, I'm mainly shooting. Um, I have it set to the right, um, what is it, shoulder trigger on Red Magic. With my left thumb, I'm 
you know, running, obviously. And with my right thumb, I'm kind of looking around, turning around. And this is the finger I use for like jumping, crouch, and, and, and that type of stuff. I know that some, or actually not some, quite many people have the zoom and peek on the right hand side and they are doing it with the right pointer finger and then having the shoot button on the left hand side. I think it depends on how your brain works or something like that. So set it in a way, whatever makes sense for you. That's my main message. This is what I want to deliver with this uh, video. For me, I can definitely tell you that gyroscope and mm, gyroscope with maximum sensitivity it, it improved my gameplay. And now we got to the part everybody was waiting for because, you know, who cares about shady stuff? You're just yet another teamy in arena breakout. But there you go. I'm gonna start with Raging Crow. And Raging Crow is an iPad player. He's having everything on default, okay? Nothing, you know, set in a, I mean, in terms of sensitivity, everything is 100. He's not using gyroscope and, uh, I think his layout is also pretty basic. He is a good example of having the shoot button on the left hand side, a left top hand side, and then he's peeking on the right hand side. Everything else is just pretty much basic. My next candidate is Bridgie B. Bridgie B also plays from iPad. As you can see somewhere, she has gyroscope disabled. Usually iPad players don't use gyro, right? There are exceptions though, because iStream is one of the guys who is playing from iPad and he still uses gyro and also Kiwi. So if Kiwi plays from iPad, he has gyroscope enabled. And by the way, Kiwi absolutely recommends to have gyroscope on. But back to Bridge B, she has majority of the sensitivities on default, but as you can see, for some of the scopes, she's been lowering it. It means that if you are scoping with like a 6x zoom, then the sensitivity is lower. Therefore, if you move your thumb, then it's, you know, it's just going to slightly move. She is using her left uh, pointer finger to shoot and she has um, zoom and peak on the right hand side. I think these are the two major things you need to consider. So onto which side you want to put your um, zoom and the peak and shooting button. And obviously they shouldn't be on the same side. Next one on my list is Chodes or Chode DS. Actually, it would be time to ask him what his preference is. And he is also an iPad player. Let me check the settings. ADS mode, da, 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 da. where are the gyro settings? I didn't see that. I didn't see that in the recording, but to my understanding, he has been recently turning gyroscope on. Okay. And one thing I want to show you, his overall sensitivity is 63. So he's one of those players who is like, let's say, um, playing with a very low sensitivity. Even on PC, we have players who are using very low sensitivity and they swipe like this, you know, with the full arm. And then we have those players who have very high sensitivity and they just do, do slight movement. And in the like competitive scene, you can find both. So it's not that this is the way or that's the way. There are pros and cons, but, um, you know, I think it's personal preference. That's it. Next one on my list is Kenshin from YouTube and his sensitivity, um, no ADS 170 which means that he's been pushing this up high to be able to like look around and turn around and stuff like that, especially because he's using fixed speed for swipe acceleration. So that's completely different from what I use, but because of the fixed speed, he needs to have a high sensitivity for camera sensitivity for no ADS. Otherwise he wouldn't be able to turn around. I didn't check if he's using gyro, but let me go back here. There you go. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I didn't see the settings, but he has gyro uh, set to 160, 160, 200. So I think Kenshin is a gyro player. Until now, most of the players had the fire button on the left-hand side. I'm 
I'm always having it on the right hand side. And my son, by the way, he's also playing from iPad. He has also the zoom and peak on the left hand side and then the shooting button on the right hand side. But anyways, Kenshin, what I can see that this is a perfect example on how custom it can become because he has the zoom button near to the top right of the screen, but the peaks are like in the center of the screen which is not a usual thing to do because usually you have the peak next to your zoom button and this clearly shows that it must be unique to make it work for you. Next one on my list, Linden Fire gyroscope always on. He's playing from a phone. You can see that from the aspect of the screen and his controls. I would say it's pretty well organized. So if I look at that, it's not like messy. He has the shooting button on the left-hand side again another person who is shooting on the left hand side and then he has the peaks on the right hand side and interestingly he has also the scope a bit detached from the from the peaks which is for me strange but again it kind of clearly shows that my preference may work for you or may not work for you iron sight another ipad player and he has the zoom on the left hand side um but interestingly, he has the peak on the opposite side, so on the right hand side. So this is very interesting. And then I think his main shoot button is the one which is on the bottom right of the screen. So th this, this is very unusual for me. I would have a really hard time to get used to it. I think I said it already like 10 times, but this is good proof that you need to find your own personal preference and play with a setup or setting controls that work for you and not for others. Next up, we have Zach Frax. He's also playing from iPad. Seems like the people who got back to me all play from iPad. Or many people play from iPad, but Sammy Van plays from phone, Said, myself, Youssef, Kiwi. So there are a bunch of, uh, of good um, mobile phone players, with the exception of me, of course. But Zach Frax. One thing to highlight is that he's using pretty small buttons. I guess it takes some time to get used to it to make sure that you don't misstep. Um, he's having the scope zoom on the right hand side, shoot button on the left hand side. Seems like that this is the default for iPad to have like the scope or zoom right hand um, and then you shoot with your left pointer finger. The last one on my list is Yusef, the demon of arena breakout, maximum sensitivity, gyroscope enabled, phone player, and he is the one like we all know who is capable of destroying everybody in the game. And I think I'm going to show you something you have never seen before, because on top of the settings, he has also shared this, which is a hand cam recording. So let's watch it together. He's playing with four fingers, he's very fast, and you can see that he's using the gyroscope for the aiming. This is exactly what I showed you. Look at that four control. He's basically aiming at one single spot. And this is, this is what you can achieve if you practice um, gyroscope, because this is I would say almost impossible if you're trying to do this with, without gyroscope. It's not going to be a surprise but because I already know that he has gyroscope enabled and then setting sensitivity, everything is set to maximum. But let's check his actual controls. So he has fire button on the left hand side, um, scope zoom on the right hand side, peak somewhat near to the um to the scope button i like that he has the main buttons a bit enlarged to make sure that if he quickly needs to tap them then he doesn't like mistap by accident i think this is something i could get used to but maybe i would keep the you know, the scope and uh, zoom on the left hand side along with the peak and then replace that with the shooting button. So folks, we are done with the showcasing of settings and gyros and controls and whatnot. And there's one more thing you can do. I have the channels open from the guys I've been um, presenting to you and you could check out these guys by opening their videos 
and instead of focusing on the gameplay, focus on how they control the game. Okay, and if you feel like that you really like the movement of Bridgie B or Yusef or Zach Frax or Crow or whatever, then check out his settings or her settings and then don't apply it as is, but check how different it is from the one you are using. And maybe you can do some slight adjustments to kind of replicate what they are doing. I wish you the best finding your perfect settings. And if you have any additional questions regarding control, sensitivity, gyro or whatever, then leave a comment or hop to my Discord. If you want to ask something very specific about my settings or the guys I presented to you, then feel free to ask. I can reach out to them anytime and get you that missing information. But first and foremost, try to enjoy the game. Okay? Shoot, loot, subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.